Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in learning about, go ahead and stick around. So in today's video, we're going to be going over how to create this design right here. It says trick or teach, and this is a very popular niche every year around Halloween. So if you are looking for different ways to cross niche, uh, crossing teachers with almost any holiday is, is a good one that's popular every year. So for this design, I went ahead and I used a pre-made graphic. So this, this graphic right in the middle here, it was pre-made, but what we did is we used some different uh, photo effects on it to sort of give it this color um, or the sort of color pattern. And then I went ahead and I added just a couple little spiders to give it some flair so that it's different from everybody else's. But if you would like to learn this technique, go ahead and stick around. Okay, so as always, we're gonna go ahead and start with our blank background. It is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. And again, I will be designing on black for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my background color right now, and we will just pick black. Now in today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're not so much creating an image, we're gonna use a pre-made graphic and we're going to edit said pre-made graphic using different techniques that I've showed in the past, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently. So for today's design, I'm gonna go ahead and do a cross niche of um, teachers and Halloween. Halloween is coming up, we're about to enter the fourth quarter and Halloween is a very popular um, niche every year but you don't wanna put up something that just says happy Halloween, it will get buried. You have to do some cross niching. Teachers are a big popular one. Uh, so one saying that is very popular every year is trick or teach. I've gone ahead and done a trademark search for this to make sure that it is safe. But um, if you'd like to know what I use, I use a Trademarkia and I can go ahead and look at it right up here. So this is it, Trademarkia and I went ahead and just did a search for trick or teach, and it says that the trademark may be available. Now, if I picked something that was not available, it would show up down here with all of the different options. Um, so that's how I check to make sure that it's an okay trademark to use. So we'll go back to our design here, and I'm gonna come up to elements, and here's what we're gonna do. We can type in quotes, if you haven't done that before, uh, Halloween quotes, you can be specific, but there's usually some pre-made words that, that you can use that are pretty cool. So if you know what you're looking for, you can type that directly. Otherwise, you can just put motivational quotes, inspirational quotes, things like that. I'm gonna put uh, Halloween quotes, so I've already typed it up here. And I can filter by graphics. And you can see that there are just a lot of interesting Halloween pre-made graphics using words. And so there is one that I know I've seen that has a teacher vibe to it. Hopefully I didn't pass it already. And how many you want, oh, here it is, trick or teach. That's it, okay. So right now you'll see it is black. Obviously I can't see it on my background, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the color up here. Doesn't matter too much what color you use. I'm gonna go ahead and go with orange because it's Halloween, but we are gonna be changing it a bit. So I'm just gonna close this down. So now here is the graphic that we're gonna be working with. Now you don't just wanna put this graphic up on a shirt because we haven't made any changes to it other than selecting the color. Other people might do it. You don't wanna have the same design as anybody else. So we're gonna have to make some changes to it. And so to do that, there's a lot of different photo effects that we can use on it to kind of make it our own. And that's one of the important aspects of this is to learn how to take these quotes or pre-made graphics and to make them your own. So for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and come up to where it says edit image. And you'll see there's a lot of the, the basic, uh, you know, editing things that we've used in the past. I am going to show you, we're going to be using the bad TV one for this. Now I have showed you bad TV in the past, but we're going to be using it in a little bit of a different way. Now it doesn't really matter which one of these you select because they're all going to give you the same um, options to work with. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick this one right in the middle. It doesn't matter. And you'll see these three lines come up. When I click these lines, it's going to give me more options. 
Now this is where those designs all varied, had to do with, with all of these different options. So for this, I don't really want any kind of distort. So I'm not gonna use the thick distort. I'm not gonna use the fine distort or the roll speed. I'm looking straight down here for scales or scan lines, sorry. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna bring this count way down and you can see as I change the count, how it changes how many lines are going through it. You can also see that as I change this where it says number of lines, it is going to make it lighter or it is going to make it kind of darker. So it's gonna play with the color a little bit and the contrast a little bit. And the noisiness down here, that'll give you some grain. So you can see I can come up here and put some grain in it or take some grain away. You'll notice that as I add more noisiness, it also kind of lightens the design and it'll kind of desaturate so you'll get rid of some of the color. So you'll want to play with all of these until you kind of get what it is that you want that you think looks good for this particular design. I would say don't worry too much about what colors are in here because I'll show you another way that we can kind of change the colors once we get the, the kind of scan lines and graininess that we're looking for. So for these types of designs, I actually like to bring this count way down and I mean way 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 down so if you were to take this all the way down to something like 0.03 that looks pretty cool to me so now it's just got a little bit of a sort of weird blended line now I can bring this all the way down to 0.01 and you can see there's a two and if I go all the way to 0.01 you can see how it's just giving you a weird color blend now I do think I liked the 0.03 the best, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick with that. And now I can, again, change how dark or how light I want it. I don't want it to be too dark because I don't want it to get lost in the background. I am planning on putting this on a black shirt. So I wanna keep it somewhat light, but I do want there to be enough contrast that you can tell you know, that I've, I've done something to it. If I bring it all the way down, I lose the contrast entirely and that sort of defeats the purpose. So I wanna bring it up to, you know, just about here, make sure I get a little bit of a, a contrast going on and then I can play with the noisiness, decide how light I want it or how dark I want it. Um, if I bring the, that all the way down, I've lost any of the graininess and it just looks like a really smooth transition. So it depends again what you're going for. I do like the graininess and I think it helps blend it pretty well. So let's say I'm just gonna go with something like that. I'll hit apply and it'll just take a second. And now I've gone ahead and sort of made this my own. Now, if I wanna play with the colors, there's a lot of other um, effects that I can use over here to play with the colors. Um, a popular one is Duotone, but if we use that, you're only gonna get two colors. And as you can see, I've got a little bit more than two shades in here. So if I wanna make sure I really keep all the shades, color mix is probably your best bet for changing colors. So I can come in here and it's gonna give me more kind of like gradients. And so depending on the design and what you're going for, you can definitely see how there's a lot of different ones. There you go, here's another orangey one. Uh, marmalade, because it's the closest in color. And we'll go ahead and push C controls here. It's gonna give you a hue and saturation. So this is what I was looking for before. As I change the hue, it will cycle through all the different color options. And so you can see it doesn't matter which one you pick other than glow. You can go ahead and cycle through this way and you can see all the different color options you've got. You know, if I wanna pick this one because it's closest to Halloween, I can go ahead, that's where it was at. But here I can go ahead and change the saturation to make it really saturated or completely unsaturated. And so again, you can see how you can play with some of these, just things to play with. So let's say I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that there. Okay. And then one other way that I like to kind of mess with the colors a little bit is the uh, photogenic one. So you'll see photogenic, if I come up here, it will use different filters. So you can kind of get a slightly different hue, whether it's more warm or more cool. And so this is a way just to slightly play with the colors to get sort of what you want. If I come in here, it's gonna give more of a reddish tinge. I think oh, that looks pretty good, whimsy. You can see how I can play with some of these. It's a little bit more 
orangey is kind of light. So I do like some of these and you can play with all of them and see what you think looks best. Again, if you come down here, there's also some different color pop ones down here that you can use. Something like that's pretty cool. And you can also go black and white as you can see. So again, play with your options, decide what it is you think you like, how much, um, you know, how bright you want it to be. Trick or teach, I kind of like that one. Trick or teach there. That one's kind of interesting. And so you can see I can play with these. My sangria one is there. All right. So once you've kind of picked one that you like, let's say I'm just gonna go ahead and go with this one for now. It's bright, I'll just stick with this. I'll hit apply. A few other ways that we can kind of edit this really easy is at the top it's just going to give you some basic photo editing adjustments so where you can adjust the brightness the contrast and the saturation so that's just another way that you can play with it i can make it more saturated i can make it less saturated and so i can play with that there depends how bright i want it to be if i bring up the contrast it's going to make it a lot brighter if i bring down the contrast you can see how i can play with that um, I can also make it a little bit brighter, so I'll bring it lighter. I can also bring it a lot darker. I do want it to pop on a dark background, so lighter is actually probably better for me. Again, I can play with the contrast and saturation as much as I want. But I think something like that looks good, so we're just going to leave it alone. So now I've kind of taken that first idea and sort of made it my own. Now I can add a couple little things to this just to sort of top it off. So this is a spider web design. I can add a couple of spiders if I want to. So let's say I go up to elements and this time I'm just gonna search for spider. And I'll show you just a couple more things that we can do. So here's a spider and I can change the color right up here. So again, I can pick any color that is in this design to make it look good. Let's say I wanna go with sort of an orangey color because it's Halloween. Maybe I take this spider and I'm gonna put them right up here by the web. And then maybe I just want one more spider hanging down. There's a lot of different hanging ones, but I do want to show you one specific one because I want to show you one more thing that you're able to do. So it's really hard to see. I've selected this one in the top here and it's black. And of course, when I put it here, it's black, which is pretty typical, but what you'll notice is that there's no box up here for me to be able to change the color. So if you've ever noticed that with a graphic, that it comes out black and you want to be able to change the color and you can't, you're like, oh man, what do I do? If I bring this other one over here, you can see I can change the color up here to anything I want. And so this one, really easy to change the color. This one, you're like, are you stuck? Can you use that graphic? You can, I'm gonna show you how you can pick colors on things where you think you can't. So if you ever get a graphic and you think you can't change the colors, go ahead and go up to edit image and you're gonna scroll down and Duotone is gonna let you select a color. So everything else is just gonna be black, black, black because there's only one color in it and it's black. But if you go ahead and you go to Duotone and you see all from here, I can adjust the controls and I can pick a color for highlights and shadows. And of course, because this is just one color, you'll want the same, the same color for both. So let's say I wanna go ahead and make this sort of that yellow color that I see in my design. There you go, now I've changed the color of the spider right here. And of course, if I really wanna match it, I can use my eyedrop feature and I can come in and totally match that yellow. I can do it again if I want to really match that yellow. There you go, and apply. And so now I've taken a graphic that would not let me change the color, and I've changed the color. So it's a little bit harder than the ones that just let you select the color up here. Obviously, that's a little easier, but there are roundabout ways to do it. So don't get frustrated if you find like the perfect graphic, but you can't change the color. There are ways. So I'm gonna use this one. I wanna bring this one way down because I really like it. I'm gonna have him hanging here and I'm gonna make him hang right here. Perfect. 
Now, if you'll notice the line is really thin, maybe I can't see it very much, no worries. I can always beef up that line by just adding a line. So you'll see if I zoom in real, real tight, that line is just really, really thin, which is great, but you really won't be able to see it on a print. So let's say I just wanna hit L on my keyboard, it's gonna pull up a line for me. I'm gonna take this line, I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker just thick enough that I can really see it well, but I still want it to be thin. I'll change the color and I'll go ahead and match the color of the spider. And now what I can do is just take this line, rotate it, and I'm just gonna try and line it up right here with the existing one. Ta-da! And I can bring it down. And boom. Now if I zoom out, now you can really see that spider hanging a little bit more. So again, that's another way to beef up some of your lines. You can always add a line of your own. So now we've got our design. It says trick or treat, <laughs> trick or teach. And we've just used this pre-made graphic, but we went ahead, used some different techniques on it, really made it our own, added a couple spiders just to really make sure that it looks different from anybody else's. And so now up here, I can just go ahead and I can put uh, trick or, oops, or teach. And I can go ahead and download this. It is going to be a PNG. It's gonna be a transparent background and we're just gonna go ahead and hit download. And so that is all there is to it. I hope, I hope some of these techniques were helpful for you. I hope you can use them in other designs, so. And then I did wanna show you just so that you uh, know that this is a popular niche every year. I went ahead and came up to my Amazon page here and you can see if I'm looking on Amazon now, it says trick or, trick or teach. So these are some of the ones that were up from last year. They're not selling super great at the moment because it's still kind of early for Halloween, but these numbers here will drop quite a bit as we start to get closer to Halloween. You'll start to notice that you'll get more and more sales. So you do wanna start designing and getting them up early, but just so that you can see, this is a pretty big niche every year, okay? So again, I hope you found this useful and I hope you can start doing some creative things and we'll see you next time. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.